we now get to uh, enter into another portion of our service. We have seen family dedication with these children. We have now worshiped to the Lord. And now another one of the things that we do is we enter into a time of ordinances. And as you can see, even in this today, that we've got the baptism ordinance and we have the Lord's Supper ordinance. And, um, and at this point, you, you out there need to understand, there is nothing that are, that are in these waters that save an individual. This is, this is just water. That's all this is. But this is an expression. This is an ordinance that tells the world, this is what's happened to me. I was a sinner. I entered into a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And when I did, I was changed. And so in a moment, you're going to hear me as we go through the baptismal instructions here. I'm going to say I'm going to bury unto death, raised to walk in newness of life is what I'm going to say. And what we're doing is we are visually preaching to you all what conversion is. I was once dead in my trespasses and sins, but then I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I died to my old self, and I have risen to walk in newness of life in Jesus Christ, recognizing he is the only one who can save me, and he's the only one that empowers me to be able to live this Christian life out before a watching world. And so that is why we've come here today. So there's three candidates today. We were supposed to have four, but the Tharps made a calculational problem with calendaring. So the Tharps aren't being baptized today, but, but they will be next month. So come on down. Some of our candidates are a little nervous, which is to be expected. Just a few moments ago, we met Raylan in a baby dedication. Well, now we're going to meet her cousin, right? And uh, his name is Braylon. And Braylon's story, come on down. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here, take my hand. He's a little nervous. Step up on that block. There you go. There you go. He's a little nervous. Lynn, you can come on down here too and step behind him. Um, this is Jane Long's nephew or great nephew. Great nephew. And during vacation Bible school um, on family night, Jane had a chance to share the gospel with Braylon, and he, went, he accepted Christ Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And then um, he went through the I'm a Believer Now class with Miss Selena, who's up here in the, in the, helping him get ready today. And uh, like I said, he's a little nervous. You all are intimidating. You all are scary, a bunch of people. They're just scary. But um, he has come to, to follow Jesus Christ in obedience to baptism this morning. And so, Braylon, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? He gave me a head nod, <laughs> okay? So we're going to baptize him, and then we're going to move on. If you all don't know, Lynn may need to be on the block. <laughs> Lynn's, Lynn's not yet five feet. She's still trying to grow some. Lynn, we always ask uh, adults specifically some questions, okay? And so would you be willing to tell them what your life was like before you met Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Turmoil. <laughs> Say it louder. Turmoil. It was turmoil, okay? And... How did you come to know that you needed Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I lost my sister. So the realization of it, unfortunately, happened when she did lose Jane. And uh, we've talked about that. And I want to reiterate it again today. Even though her sister passed, and that was the, the impetus for Lynn to come to know Jesus, that wasn't the cause of Jane's death. Okay. Jane did not die so that Lynn might be saved. Jane died because we live in a sinful world where accidents happen. So I want to reiterate that again today. There was a car accident. The result of the car accident is she died. But 
We serve a father who is redemptive in nature. And he takes even the most tragic events, like the passing of our sister, and glorifies himself. And he did that in Lynn's life. So Lynn, after you accepted Jesus Christ, how's your life been now over these last couple of months? Amazing. Would you like to elaborate? She said amazing. It's, everything is coming together. She said everything's coming together. See, Lynn prayed to receive Jesus Christ on that following Sunday, and then we followed up and we've talked, and, and she also went through I'm a Believer's class now, too, with, with Braylon. And uh, so Lynn has come now to follow through with Believer's Baptism as well. So. All right. We have one more candidate, and this one's a little different than, than some of the others. We've done this kind of thing before, but this is Amanda Cook. Come on down. And I'm actually going to let Amanda tell her own story. Amanda's been a believer. <laughs> Amanda has been a believer. She already knew the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is not a I accepted Christ Jesus kind of story. But Amanda is coming to be baptized in a form of rededication. And she'd just like to talk for you a second, and then we'll baptize her, okay? So here she is. Hello. So Scott actually uh, spoke with me about doing this, and he said, you know, it would be a good idea for you to write down some words. I did not. <laughs> so I'm just winging it. Um, so I guess what I want to say is maybe that what I feel on my heart that maybe somebody else feels the same way. Maybe I can speak to somebody else, um, like for instance, last week's message. Um, last week was about drug addiction and, and overcoming that. And um, I'm a daughter of a um, mother who lost her life to drug addiction. So that spoke to me. Um, anyway, I was baptized when I was nine. Um, and when you're when you're so young and you're raised in a, a Christian home, you know, you, you think you believe, you know you believe, but when you become older, um, you start to question yourself. And so I'm up here just for me. And um, I debated with this for a while, um, but after having that wonderful little creature over there, um, I actually suffered from postpartum and started really evaluating my life. And um, so that's why I'm here. And um, just to do it for myself, to know that I'm right with the Lord and that whether it's tomorrow, whether it's two weeks from today, whether it's whenever, I know where I'm going to be. Amen. So again, this is not a baptism of salvation in the sense, again, there's nothing in these waters that would save you anyway. But this is a way of saying within her heart, I am and I am certain that Christ Jesus is Lord my life. So we're going to baptize a man now. So I baptized my sister. 